Hey everyone, wanted to do a video on sweet potato, creating new slips, um, creating new plants of sweet potatoes. Uh, super easy within the aquaponics system, but you could easily do this with um, just a sweet potato from the store. Um, if you see here, this net cup, so basically it's one of these and it's barely in the water. So you could get a net cup or something similar. Um, the sweet potato itself is just barely going to touch the water. And then eventually the bottom of the sweet potato is going to start producing roots. So this one has been in the system for weeks now. And it'll start pushing these slips um, out of the sweet potato. So a couple of them here and there. From there, these are going to root. So I have some examples right here that I've taken from other sweet potato cuttings. Let's see if I can grab one easily. Well, maybe not. No. Here's a, a slip that I took just from that one. So if I put this uh, vine or slip into water as well, it's going to root. Um, I can take this slip after it has a big enough root ball. You probably want like a, you know, softball, baseball size uh, amount of roots. And then you can put that into soil, into a pot. Just make sure it's watered really well. Um, that you keep it in the shade for a week or so. And then you can probably, you know, slowly start moving it into the sunshine. And, um, and then eventually plant into your yard as just a regular plant. So the key to accelerating this uh, is to um, get oxygen into the water. So with this setup I have um, kind of a main pond pump that will turn on every 15 minutes. It's pumping water up here into the grow bed but it's also producing water. Anything excess is going around this fish tank and so it produces air and movement underneath that. Along with that, I have uh, air stones and air pumps. I have one back there that you can clearly see, but I also have two lines that are going um, right directly underneath uh, this contraption, this floating raft. So it's breaking up the water, it's producing air, and just gives these plants that much more oxygen. Um, the sweet potatoes do just fine this way. Uh, you can see that fertilizer might be needed for some of these demanding plants. Uh, this is mint and it looks like it could use some nitrogen because it's pretty faded. This is what it should look like. Here's what the other ones look like. Um, you could also propagate uh, pothos plants this way. So here is a pothos plant. And I just took cuttings, sticked it down, stuck it down in there and then you get new pothos. This is like a shade plant and everything, and I'm in in Texas in the south, so it's quite hot, um, but it's doing just fine. So for an example, um, once these get big enough in size, we can just snap it off for the sweet potato. And I'm just going to place this uh, so that this uh, bottom part is submerged, and it should root out within a couple days uh, does it pretty quickly I have an elderberry cutting that I don't think is gonna make it so I'm gonna take that out and on these net pots I've cut out the center so that you can actually stick something through there so I'm gonna put that in there and that's it so if you had a um, something like this it's floating you put in you know, 10 sweet potatoes from the store. If they're organic, they're probably gonna grow out and produce slips. Um, the only thing I've noticed is if you put them too far in water, they could rot and not do anything for you. So just the, the very bottom of it works really well. And you could get, you know, I've already gotten one off here, two, three, four, four slips from just one sweet potato. Um, so you could populate and and make as many as you wanted with just uh, a few starter ones. So with that, thanks for watching, and I'll put some more videos up of other items.